Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. Do you have a project that requires both 5 volts and 12 volts from a single output? Well, we have a power source that does that. There's only one issue. How do you get the power from this thing into these things? Well, now there's a solution because now there is the SparkFun ATX Power Connector Breakout Kit. Honestly, there's nothing really complicated or technical about this kit. It just makes it easier to get power from here to here. The kit contains the ATX Power Connector Breakout PCB, the ATX Right Angle 4-Pin PTH Connector, a pair of 2-pin 5mm screw terminals, and the dual output 12-volt, 5-volt power supply. Assembly requires soldering, but it's incredibly simple. This goes here, these go here, done. And once you're assembled, you can use any output you want by screwing them into the screw terminals, plug your ATX into the power input, and you're ready to go. Now, if your board is going to be a permanent installation, instead of screw terminals, there are also pinouts that will allow you to solder directly to the board, or you can even solder male headers to the board and use it with a breadboard. Also, if you need your ATX connector to come straight out of the board, that's an option as well, although you'll have to supply the ATX connector yourself for that one. For this project, I'm running the 12 volt side to the Arduino Mega and the 5 volt side to the LED matrices. Uh, we've run the power supply through some of our load testers and it showed solid results on both the 5 volt and 12 volt side, so that's great. Now, this board would have been a great help for some of our SparkFun previous projects like our robotic safe cracker or the LiDAR speed trap we have here in the office. In fact, this would be great for any robot, allowing you to split 12 volts to the motor side and 5 volts to the microcontroller side if it's limited in its power input. So power up with the SparkFun ATX Power Connector Breakout Kit. Pick up yours over at sparkfun.com and happy hacking! Seemed like I should have said something more in there, but what else is there to say about this thing? Do you have a project that requires both 5 volts and 10 volts? 10 volts? Nobody uses 10 volts. Plug the ATX in. ATX? You can use any output you want. Duh, that's not quite right. It's designed so that you can also... But it's incredibly simple. Uh, this goes here. Oh. <laughs>